this the only path, there is no other for the purity of insight. And it's very, very clear. Uh, Ezo, this, wa means only, maga path, nati anyo, there is not another for the purity of insight. You know what that means? You know what it refers to? A full path. So this is a teaching to the Buddha. See, eight full path, the whole works. That's what you need to gain insight. So it's not just sitting down and meditating. It's everything else gives rise to insight too. Things like right speech, right action, right livelihood, your precepts. So when you are keeping your precepts, you are making insight happen. Why? It is because to be able to get insight, you need to sort of have a very clear mind. This is Ajahn Chah's simile. And living here in the forest, I think you can appreciate it. If a leaf, just one single leaf, falls in the forest, you can't really see it that easily because it falls amongst hundreds, thousands, maybe millions of other leaves and twigs. It just gets lost in the confusion of other litter on the forest floor. But if one leaf falls on a clearly swept path, then it stands out and you can see it very clearly and you can examine it because it's not lost in the confusion of other leaves and twigs. It's a single leaf on a clear path. And Ajahn Chah used that simile for insight. If you have a very complicated mind and you have a very busy life, so many worries and so many troubles, something comes up, you haven't got the space, the clarity not even the freedom to really understand it and examine it. There's just too much going on. So if you really want insight, number one, you have to keep a moral code, keep some precepts, because precepts simplify your life. 